Okay, welcome back to Diesel Talk with Tony Salas. We're looking at an Isuzu NPR with a Chevy bow tie. It's the, what is it, 5.2 liter. Yes, that's what we see in here. And uh, one of the things I just want to talk about is on all the videos that we got, we haven't really gotten hot and heavy into SCR, which is Selective Catalyst Reduction. But I thought I'd throw a quickie here in terms of SCR. What is SCR? Well, many of you might associate it as the dev fluid stuff. So in this case, you can see the the tank right there where we fill with dev fluid. And if I get myself on my nice little creeper and get under here, we're going to see the whole after treatment system. So as I'm bending down here and being a contortionist to get down here, we're going to see our after treatment right there. Okay. Thousands and thousands of dollars of after treatment stuff here down here. And what we're looking at is the after treatment consists of the DOC, diesel oxidation catalyst, diesel particulate filter, and the SER assembly, which is the DEF fluid stuff. So let me pause for a minute and move on over. All right, as we're looking at the after treatment system here, that's the right there, that is the back of the transmission. That's the dry show I'm facing towards the rear of the vehicle. And in this case, if I look at the after treatment, one of the things you're gonna see right there where the light is shining, that is your DEF fluid or reductant injector. So one of the problems in our trade is the fact that we got too many damn names for the same thing, reductant, DEF fluid, you know, some people like to say urea, which is incorrect. Um, DEF fluid is 32.5% solution of urea mixed with deionized water, deionized water. So that's the guy right there. So as I come around, <laughs> excuse the awkwardness of all this, but I'm actually not, the vehicle's not raised up, so. Um, there you can see the back of the whole after treatment system going towards the exhaust. So there we can see the exhaust cooler right there. That is the exhaust there. And there's a cooler right there. So, and, and as we know with regeneration, we do get very hot. And that heat generates up to just shy of uh, 1,100, 1,200 degrees. That's the normal temperature during regeneration. But the DEF fluid system, which is SER, Selective Catalyst Reduction, does require you to get nice and warm not as hot as the for regeneration but we need to be hot and heavy there so in this case uh there we could see a better view of the def injector right there uh we got an electrical inject uh connector and we got the fluid line coming in now this one's nice to work on for the simple reason that i need to do a volume test and a spray test to actually test it so in this case this is pretty easy to get to this component right there which is the def fluid injector right there so there you go. So you have your DOC, your DPF, and then you got your, uh, after DPF, you got your DEF fluid being injected. So therefore the catalyst, it goes to after this injector, that guy facing towards there must be the SER catalyst. So now these have evolved more. There's now an ammonia catalyst and, uh, or ammonia slip catalyst I should talk about that actually absorbs the ammonia. So when you inject DEF fluid into the exhaust, it is, again, 32.5% solution of urea mixed with water. That immediately, with the heat here in this exhaust, actually converts to ammonia. It is the ammonia that breaks up the NOx. So, therefore, that's what you need to understand. It is the ammonia that breaks up the NOx emission. So, my very important tip is, what is the purpose of selective catalyst reduction, or SER? Is just, and only just, to reduce NOx. All right, as I come around the front and I look at the side of the motor here, here we can see our turbocharger. That is our turbocharger right there. So in this case, we see our turbocharger. But then we have another NOx emission control system here. In other words, another NOx reducing device. This is the EGR cooler. That's your EGR cooler. So we have two EGR coolers on this puppy here, which are fun, but that is designed to reduce NOx. So as we collect the exhaust, that goes towards the intake on the other side, and we're gonna find our EGR valve over there, okay? Somewhere down in here, so. But in this case, what is the purpose of these coolers? Well, these coolers are EGR coolers, which pretty much every diesel out there that has an EGR valve, which is almost everything, has uh, the ability to subcool the gases. So this is the exhaust side of the motor. And the reason why I know it's because it's got to have, it's an inline cylinder, inline engine. And in this case, we got the exhaust coming out of here. Here's a turbocharger. Obviously we must have some piping and plumbing coming out to the back. So therefore 
the cooler is routing the gases over towards the EGR valve, which goes to the intake, which is located on the other side. Now, why cool the gases? Yes, we're literally cooling these exhaust gases, okay? We're cooling them. That's what these coolers, that's why they have these cooling lines going in here. So it's designed to reduce the NOx to cool down the temperature of the combustion chamber inside of this diesel engine in each cylinder. So uh, the biggest problem that we got with coolers is you guys mess with them that don't have no experience. And what I mean by that is that these guys do not like air. So if you ever look at pyrometric temps, in other words, what is the temperature of the exhaust you know, coming out? Of the exhaust manifold or after the turbo it goes into very hot temperatures so if you are let's say you decide to do your water pump or your radiator right and you go ahead and burp it and fill it you're not supposed to now in today's diesels actually for quite a while but you leave a lot of air in there you don't even know is there well that air will migrate through the coolant lines right and what's going to happen is that when it gets into the EGR cooler those exhaust gases can be over a thousand degrees you know, so therefore what's going to happen is when air is introduced into a very superheated element, it's going to expand. So therefore it pressurizes the cooling system. So you think you got pressure coming out of your tank or your degas bottle, and which is, by the way, is this guy over here. In this case, you're going to think that, you know, hey, I got a head gasket problem or cooler's cracked. No, it just means you got air in the system. So we sometimes go ahead and purge air out of these systems, but how do we do it? Well, we can't. We don't purge air. What am I saying? In this case, we drain the cooling system and we vacuum fill. So we'll do another video on vacuum filling, but there's some other ones on YouTube too on vacuum filling. But we vacuum fill it, and then at that point, we ensure a 99.9% .9 air-free system. Well, more like 95%, but we're trying to get rid of most of the air to protect these EGR coolers. So, so I know we've been talking about SCR briefly and also NOx emissions, but how are we reducing NOx with this? Well, NOx is created in the combustion chamber that can attain a temperature above 2,500 degrees, 2,500 degrees. Gasoline does the same thing too. So what we do is we introduce gases which are supposed to be inert in nature, inert, I-N-E-R-T, they're inert. They don't react with, they're not supposed to at least. And in this case, what happens is that those gases are reintroduced, they take up space, but they're cooled gases from the coolers, and they actually reduce the combustion temperature to reduce NOx. Now, if you know your math or your chemistry, you understand that roughly what? 18% of what's in the air is oxygen, the rest is nitrogen. We live in a nitrogen-rich environment, so nitrogen and oxygen coexist with each other, but we fuse them into a compound element in the combustion chamber when you attain 2,500 degrees. So to reduce that NOx, what do we do? We actually go ahead and run cooled, subcooled, inert gases into the chamber where they're actually mixed with the air and with the fuel where we have a combustion event take place and it cools the cylinder down. Now, let's get one thing clear. EGR systems, exhaust gas recirculation systems, do not eliminate NOx. That's why you have SCR down there in the exhaust that I showed you. So in this case, to summarize, diesel has two ways of reducing NOx, NOx. Again, the use of an EGR system, exhaust gas recirculation, and then we subcool those gases going to the intake. And down there, we got the or SCR where we squirt the DEF fluid, which is called reductant. And at that point, what we do is we inject into the exhaust stream to break up the NOx into nitrogen, water, carbon dioxide. So that's what we want to do coming out of the pipe. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching here. Another tip from Diesel Talk. All right, I'm in the vehicle, so when we turn the key on, you'll notice there's a light right there. Okay, this one right there. That is your SCR indicator. So in this case, if this light should come on, and by the way, let me zoom in on it. Okay, so when we zoom in on this one right there, you're gonna see that that is indicating that there is a problem with NOx reduction. That's what the light means. There is a problem with NOx reduction. So if we see that light on, it could derate the motor. So it could tell, give you a message here that you're derated at so much of a speed. And if you ignore it, it could even get worse, you know, to the point it'll idle. So in this case, once again, this light right here, okay, is actually the SCR indicator, but you can translate it as your problem with reducing NOx. Yes, we have a check engine light right there. Yes, we have the check engine light. That indicates the code, but in this case, this is your SCR or NOx reducing light. So as a technician, when we see this light on, we know, and if we got a check engine light on too with it, 
we know that <clears throat> it's maybe related to NOx reduction, but definitely related to NOx reduction if we have this light on, okay? That's what that light is for. So the minute that I start the truck up, this, this light should go out, so start it up. In this case, the light goes away, and uh, we don't have a check engine light either. We gotta reset our uh, oil light, but in this case, what I'm just trying to show you is that is for NOx reduction, so definitely pay attention to that. So you guys that are drivers or you guys are do-it-yourselfers, that's what the light is for. So repeating, this is how we learn by repeating, is NOx is reduced by the SCR, selective catalyst reduction, injecting that def fluid into the exhaust to break up the NOx, and use of a NOx reducing catalyst, and the use of the EGR valve. So there you go. Thanks for watching.